Back in the metro, a Papillion couple claims they had an unexpected visitor in their backyard last night. KETV News Watch Chevin's Chin Doan live with what on the latest could be another mountain lion sighting. Rob, behind me is a small creek surrounded by private farmland and plenty of homes. Wayne Rozonke lives behind in one of these homes, and he said around 6:45 last night, he and his wife saw that big cat walking along the banks. In fact, they contacted me about just five minutes ago and said they saw that mountain lion again. Well, the Sarpy County Sheriff's Office says they checked it out last night and didn't see anything. Still, the couple says they have pictures to prove it. A growing neighborhood with a backyard full of wildlife. We've seen deer back here. Um, we had a couple of eagles uh, last year. Wayne Rezonke and his wife live near 66 in Cornhusker and Papillion. They've seen turkeys, hawks, even a coyote. But Tuesday evening, the couple couldn't believe their eyes. And then he laid down, and so I got my binoculars out, came out on the deck, and when I spotted him and he stood up, I saw the long tail. I knew right away it was a, a mountain lion. The 53 year old says he snapped these photos before the cat disappeared into the creek. We have an 18 month old granddaughter, and I thought, wow, you know, what if she were out? We'd always have an adult with her, but, you know, might be kind of a serious situation. The Nebraska Humane Society takes these reports seriously. In the past, we have had a mountain lion in the city of Omaha, so it's not unheard of for mountain lions to be around. Pam Wee says no lion has been tracked down lately. Still, local and state agencies are working together. Game and Parks has done a little bit of informational exchange with our animal control officers about looking for scat, which is their droppings, and trying to find um, sightings of uh, scratching on some of the uh, trees and that type of thing. For now, Rosonki will stay vigilant and hopes everyone else does too. I think it's a legit thing. Um, after seeing this one, I got to assume that there's others in the area, just from what I've been hearing. And we have forwarded Rosonki's photos to a specialist at Game and Parks to analyze, but we have not heard back. Reporting live in Papillion, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7. Thank you, Chin. In La Vista, life changing and life.